So, hey, what's up, guys? It's Matt from Bullet. I'm here with Michael Neal, our Bullet Pro Staffer, one of the top guys on the FLW Tour. He's picking up his brand new boat. He's going to talk to you about uh, what he likes about his boat and how he sets it up. What's up, Michael? Hey, guys. Uh, just we're right out here, right outside Bullet. I just picked this thing up, and I think it's one of the best looking boats I've ever had. I don't know if many of you know it or not, but I've always ran Yamahas in the past, and this year, you see what's hanging back there on the back? It's uh, it's back in black this year. We went to Mercury. So uh, we're going to be a typical bullet guy this year. We're going to have a Mercury on it. We're going to go fast, uh, all those good things. But I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I set my boat up. Uh, this year I went to the old tracks. I haven't had one of those in the past. I've always had four tracks. Looking forward to the, to the things about it, the spot lock, things like that. Um, and this box right here is where I keep all my life jackets, my rain suits, uh, my light poles, all those things. This box right here, this is my favorite storage place on the boat. It's right here. It's out of your way where it's, you can sit right here, get into your tackle. I keep my bulk plastics, um, all those kinds of things, or any base that I might want to get just in the blink of an eye where I can sit right here on the deck. My rods are still strapped down, whatever it may be, and I can reach in here easy access to the storage for your tackle so a lot of you guys like to carry your rods in the middle i don't i've i've got my boat loaded down enough to where it doesn't matter for weight distribution you might want to put your tackle over here if you're fishing by yourself i like mine right here in the middle so i just stack my boxes pretty much across this thing and you can fit it depending on if you're the double deep or just the regular boxes you can fit 10 to 12 boxes across um for your regular ones and six for your double deep ones and you can go about three wide so you can fit anywhere from 18 to 30 boxes just right here um, with no organizer needed or anything like that and easy access to those again and the other side is the only thing I ever put in there is just my rods and reels that's just where I've always had them in every boat I've ever owned I just like it right there it's just something I'm used to comfortable with so that's I keep mine over there on that side these two steps here is where I've kept a lot of my pliers, my small tools, things like that, uh, cold buoys, scales, sunglasses, spare keys to the locks in case I forget mine at the room, whatever it may be, is what I use these two boxes right here for. This one is my cooler. I like it because if I'm sitting there driving, running down the lake, and I want to drink, all I got to do is just reach right here and open it up, and I've got a drink. So that's just where I like it. A lot of you guys use that one up there. That's fine too. Whatever you want to do, you can use this as a day box or the cooler. I just like it as a cooler just because of the ease and convenience for me. The live wells, uh, I've got. I've been fortunate. I've been able to put a lot of fish in these live wells over the years, and they are the best live wells in the industry, hands down. I mean, you can see how deep they are. Right there is putting my hand flat against the bottom of that live well, and I'm all the way up to my shoulder. So you're talking that deep, full of water keep those fish good and healthy. Got a TNH oxygenator in here this year. Uh, something a little different for me. I haven't run one in the past, but anything you can put oxygen in the water for these fish has got to be good for them. This back box right here, I keep my spare prop, my spare prop tools, block of wood, wrench, uh, hub kits, extra nuts, all those good things right here. That way if I need to get to it, I got it right here and I can get back there and change the props, spun a hub, whatever happened. Uh, unfortunately things like that happen I've had it happen in the middle of the lake where uh, kind of hard to get back there and change it you got to kind of swim at the same time but you can do it in these boats um, this one FLW we've always got a co-angler so I'll leave this box open just for the co-angler to have um, he can put his tackle his rain gear anything like that in there and of course these back three boxes this is the gas tank battery storage and battery storage um, as well as the oil reservoir and the power pole tanks uh, pumps so that's one thing I haven't got on here yet is the eight foot um, power pole blades which will go back there on the Atlas jack plate and uh, keep this boat in uh, in those shallow water applications it'll hold this boat perfectly still um, only other thing I can really think of is right here I don't know how many of y'all have got them or not but Boat Logics has made a lot of customized bullet products out there for your guys that need a dual graph mount or a single graph mount or whatever. And it fits right here, right above your steering column. And that thing is rock solid. It will not move. 
I had one all year last year, never even tightened a bolt on it. So, uh, very great product. Very excited to be running a bullet again here in 2018. Swap to Mercury. Uh, we're going to see where it takes us. All right. How, how do you like the ride of the bullet? I love the ride of the bullet. I mean, a lot of guys think that bullets don't ride good, but that's simply just as as our president would say is fake news uh, these are the best riding boats i've ever been in hands down the whole design of them it, it cuts through the waves and as long as you don't try and overdo it you can take this boat anywhere you want to go this year we're going to the great lakes uh, i've had it on champlain okeechobee a couple weeks ago it was extremely rough and it was my year old boat and i had had zero issues taking that boat down there i knew it would perform um, it's a great ride it's a great handling boat there's no other boat out there that's more fun to drive than a bullet and uh it's just it's it's something i have the utmost confidence in getting me there and back it stays dry it stays dry yes sir you don't have to worry about the spray coming over you it has to be a really stout wind blowing across before you ever get any water on you all right guys once again it's michael new flw tour pro for bullet and uh this is his new boat. My office for the year. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's a good office for sure. We hope so.